It may be a scene out of a romantic comedy or K-drama if you're into that, but the trope of liking somebody from afar happens in reality too. Unlike the shows and movies, though, the couple won't magically come together through a meet-cute. They don't have plot armor and this isn't fiction. So, if you're crushing on someone, should you tell them? In the latest episode of her weekly vlog, published on Sunday, August 20th, local actress Felicia Ching shared her thoughts on this this question after a woman in her 30s asked for her advice. For context, the woman has a crush on a man she sees on her commute to work every day. They take the same bus to the same stop and then the same train and they've had some eye contact. Am I silly to like him? She asked the actress. What do you suggest I do? Chin, 38, said this question reminded her of a crush she had on a guy when she was 16. The guy was a student from another secondary school and she met him at the bus stop every day. She recalled, at the end of the school term, when I was in secondary four, I made up my mind to tell him how I felt the next day, as it was the last day of school. The next day, I went to the bus stop early because I didn't want to miss him. I waited and waited, but he never appeared. I never saw him at the same bus stop again. I asked myself, why didn't I tell him earlier? Chin reckoned that you only leave once. So she advised her viewer to not be shy and just say hello and talk to the man. If it doesn't work, at most you don't ride in the same train carriage as him, she added. However, Chin also cautioned her against giving out personal information, such as her contact number, too easily. Her viewer also said, I'm sad. I have always liked people from afar. I don't think I can find a one. In response, Chin admitted that she's been fortunate to have found her other half, but she advised her viewer to build up your confidence and self-acceptance. You must know how to love yourself. We cannot expect another person to make us perfect or fill the gaps in our lives. This is a process to experience and grow from, she said.